Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoever's. Today is the 22nd day of October 2019. God bless you. Uh, again, today's morning message is uh, talking about exalting your God. Uh, so what exactly are you going through today? Uh, whatever the trials you're going through, the key is to exalt your God in your life. It doesn't matter, man. This world is is heading to hell in a handbasket, guys. There's people, people will do the same thing no matter what you do it. When people start dying, that's when the vultures come out. Don't be part of it. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, who will manipulate situations for for personal gain and you, and you never want to be doing you want to do what is right and what is honorable every time good morning brother what's going on morning um the book of deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 1 through 4 says this listen O heavens and i will speak hear O earth the words that I say, my teachings will fall on you like rain. My speech will settle like dew. My words will fall like rain on tender grass, like gentle showers on the young plants. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. How glorious is our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect. Everything he does is just and fair. He is faithful. God does no wrong. How just and upright he is, Deuteronomy. So, question is, are you reflecting his image? You know, the Lord spoke through Isaiah saying, I, the Lord, love justice. Book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 8. God wants his children to mirror his nature through the power of the Holy Spirit. Search your heart by answering the following questions in your life. One, do you love justice? Do you do what is right? You know, um... You can do what is right because it's right, not because because of personal gain. I mean, does seeing injustice make you angry or sad? It should. When you walk around and you see that people are, are evil, I mean, evil, you should be discouraged. Say, you know what? This is not right. Do your actions line up with what you believe? What proof from your life experience can you give to show what you truly love justice? Again, could those around you say that everything you do is just and fair? What recent actions can you recall that, that show how you will sacrifice convenience for something else to do what God deems just and fair? Again, the key is uh, to share your majesty, uh, to share his majesty, I'm sorry, uh, when we do what is right and fair and honorable and upright and basically honorable, you know, we share in God's glory. Does a friend or family member need to be told that God is a just God or that God is a God of justice? Think of someone who has been wronged and give them the comforting news that God is the perfect judge. Lovingly warn someone who has not acted justly that God will judge those who do wrong. You know, guys, God knows what is done and hidden. Uh, the hidden seasons in life. You know, God uh, works behind the scenes. And he reveals again uh, to us. Buenos dias. You know, God reveals what is right, you know, what is honorable, what what is upright, you know, what is trustworthy. You know, behind the scenes, guys, there's a lot of people, uh, especially uh, everywhere, every 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 corner or facet of life. You know, whether it be the gang life, or whether it be the uh, the the corporate world, or the or, or the business world, you know, there's someone taking advantage of somebody else for personal gain, or or they befriend you uh, again uh, because uh, because they're trying to learn something because they're they're you know they're... I'll give you an example if I may. I got a few minutes. Um, some guy hires another guy to, to work, and then the guy starts working maybe a sales job, right? So what he does is he starts working the salesman, and then uh, 
maybe six months later, he, he wants to start his own business, so he steals all the information and all the clients for, from his boss. Now, is that right and honorable? Of course not. But do people do that? All the time. You know, uh, you're, you're, you're trying to do this or do that, and you, you, you know, the reason why you're really there is, again, deceitful. You know, you check your motives. You have to, you have to uh, do what is right and honorable uh, because if you don't and you are a Christian and you love the Lord, and, you, know, you have to understand what's motivating you. Is the love of Christ motivating you or is the greed of money? Um, because remember, guys, that, that's how the air of Balaam in the Bible really takes hold of a pastor, of a preacher, is because their motive is about money, not the Lord. You know, their, their heart is changed by a monetary gain. You know, if you find yourself, again, manipulating and really being a butthead, right, and using people to get what you want, you know, you can use that in many facets of life. You know, you can use that in a relationship where you're just using the other person Women do it all the time. You know, men sometimes do it too, but women mostly, you know, they'll, they'll stick with this guy until they, you know, they get, they get what they want and then, you know, they move to the next guy who, you know, who could get them more, bigger, more money. And it, it, it really, it really happens. They're called, today I think they're called, they used to be called gold diggers back in the day. You know, you got to be careful that, that you don't find yourself, you don't find yourself being a gold digger. You know, are you seeking justice are you reflecting god you know god is a yesterday um one of my friends were telling me that he had to go before before the el vampiro the vampire and i looked at him what do you mean you have to go to the vampire he says yeah the judge he goes the one with the big black cape and i'm just like you called him a <laughs> you know you what he says Esos jueces deben de ser derecho como, como, como los cuernos de chivo. It means, you know, the judge should be fair like the, the horns of a, of, of a bull. Or a, 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 I say chivo, a goat. You know, the goat, shh, man, that guy's, that guy's straight like, that guy's straight like a, 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 a goat's horns. Which is, by the way, it's not too straight, right? You know, God wants us to be honorable and upright. And, you know, that's, that, that is a great uh, picture of our God. You know, what a great reflection the Lord has. You know, Jesus Christ came to earth, uh, and it was a great reflection of the Father. You know? And remember, remember, sometimes they told Jesus, Jesus, show us the Father that, may we, that we may be see him. And he says, uh, it says, how long, Philip, or I think he said, Philip, because how long have I been with you that you can't see the Father? I mean, Jesus was a perfect reflection of the Father. You know, God the Holy Spirit is a perfect reflection of Jesus. You know, he's a, they're all three is one. So, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a great uh, encouragement because if you have the Holy Ghost, God will transform you uh, from the inside out to reflect God uh, and, and to be upright and, and to seek what is right and true and honorable and upright. You know, don't let this world, um, there's a great word, uh, don't let this world uh, mold you into their image, you know. Be, be in the image of Christ and you'll stand out. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to, 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 you know, testify of God's truth and God's love and God's mercy. You know, the only reason why judgment is coming on earth is because God is a good judge. You know, what kind of judge would not punish evil? You know, God, God cannot overlook sin, so that's why He sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for, for, uh, for in your place. You know, God has to. You know, that's why when the judgments of God are coming upon the earth in the Book of Revelation, uh, it says, "Honorable and righteous and holy are your ways." You know, God is the good. God is a good judge. You know, He. Can you imagine if the judge over here in Watsonville, every time a criminal came to him, he, he didn't do anything? He'd be like, you're not a very good judge, brah. But what if he actually, you know, gave judgment? And it, obviously, God is our judge, but he's also our savior. You know, God the Father 
Uh, sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ to die on the cross and become a sin sacrifice for all those who would come to believe in him and be, and, and be born again and, and, and receive him into his, into his uh, kingdom. You know, don't let this world, this world around you wants to, um, any smart person who's greedy and evil will, will facilitate those tendencies of your sin nature, you know? Will appease to your sensuality or your greed. Understand that's how, that's how the enemy works. You know, be careful of those, you know, bringing good tidings, you know, but wickedly, inwardly, they're evil people. You know, they, they're, they're, they're going to use you. They're going to manipulate the situation to, to, to you know, what benefits them. You know, Jesus said, think of others before you think of yourself. Evil people think of themselves only, constantly. And they do it because they're evil. Their heart is, uh, their heart is, and their consciousness is seared. You know, be careful of those people who would come to you and, 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 and give you the handshake of fellowship and, and, and then backstab you. Um, not only with, with actions, but with words. Be careful of those who, uh, who would do that in your life. You know, the, the Bible says that the Antichrist is coming. And many Antichrists are already here. But the Antichrist right here, guys, he's going to tell you anything you want to hear to damn you to hell. He's going to tell you, uh, he's going to, the Bible says they give you itchy ears. I mean, basically, he's going to tell you what you want to hear. Uh, to get you to, to, to forsake the only thing he can't take is and that's your allegiance to God uh, but he, he's gonna facilitate the Bible says a mark in your right hand and your forehead like a like an animal being branded basically to say that you belong to him and that's when the Bible says that the judgments and the boils and the and, and the crying out will take place you know be careful be careful of those bringing good tidings who don't have the Lord you know what can they really give you? You know, gold and silver and precious stones? For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? I mean, you're going to trade your, your soul? Don't, don't understand this is, a, this, is, this is a battlefield for the souls of men. You know, the enemy is out there trying to, trying to kill, steal, and destroy. You know, he wants to put you in bondage. He wants to lie to you. He wants to think you're saved because, because you think you're a good person. Let me tell you like this, bro. No one's good. There's none righteous, no, not one. Only Jesus Christ. He's the only, the only begotten Son of God that we all need to believe in and be saved. Because terrible, 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 evil, terrible, evil times are coming. And if you don't have the Lord, you're going to find yourself on the wrong side of history. So may the Lord bless you. Be good be strengthened. The Lord is coming. He's coming quickly.